for the name of this beautiful unicorn. Abby the Dabby Star. Abby the Dabby Star. Abby the Dabby Star. Abby the Dabby Star. Have you ever been blessed? Abby, are you ready? Are you ready? St. Francis lived in chaos, political and military and spiritual and found in the world a peace that passes understanding. So enjoy the chaos and enjoy the story and the power of St. And ignore the dog that's just yipping. Okay, please stand. Oh, let's do the names while we're. This is Gigi. Hi, baby. That is Harper, a girl, a little tiny girl. <laughs> that was a boy down that would be This is a girl, Harper, and this is a girl. Do you know this woman's name? Sophie! Sophie. And this is Abracadabra Kazoo. Abracadabra Star. And what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Very, I like that they get along together. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest we one. Can we get them to The biggest one is this. I will say there are numerous churches that on this day allow their dogs out to the altar rail. There's even one or two rebellious ones that yeah. give a wafer. Wow. Now, St. Francis would say, go for it. But we're not going to do that. Okay, Suzanne is going to play, and you know the words to Suzanne. What are the words? All the words. <laughs> all things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made. And that's all we're going to sing. You ready? Our hearts, the 
that we may perfectly love you and magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Almighty God, Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, we take away the sin of the world. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Give us your grace revealed in Brother Francis to love and care for all you have especially the marvelous creatures, both great and small, that fill our planet and enrich our daily lives. Amen. Don't care. <coughs> and the readings All right, are for me. Yeah, I the first lesson is a reading from Genesis. Genesis. So out of the ground the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to the man to see what he could call them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all cattle and to the birds of the air and to every animal of the field. But for the man, there was not found a helper as his partner. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 100 will be read responsively by half verse. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before the expressions. Know this, the Lord himself is God. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, The second lesson is from Revelation. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. On either side of the river is the tree of life with its 12 kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of nations. Nothing accursed will be found there anymore, but the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And there will be no more night, they need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Christ. Christ. So today, who was St. Francis of Assisi? St. Francis was born in 1181 in Assisi, Italy. Although revered today, he began his life as a confirmed sinner. His father was a wealthy cloth merchant who owned farmland around Assisi and his mother was a beautiful French woman. Francis was not in want during his youth. He was spoiled, indulging himself with fine wine, food, and wild celebrations. By the age of 14, he had left school to become known as a rebellious teenager who frequently drank, party, and broke the city curfew. I think I know about this guy. 
He was also known for his charm and vanity. In these privileged surroundings, Francis of Assisi learned the skills of archery, wrestling, and horsemanship. He was expected to follow his father into the family textile business, but was bored by the prospect of life in the cloth trade. Instead of planning a future as a merchant, he began daydreaming of a future as a knight. Knights were medieval action heroes, and if Francis had any ambition, it was to be a war hero like them. It wouldn't be long before the opportunity of warfare beckoned. After fighting in a battle between Assisi and Perugia, Francis was captured and held for ransom. He spent nearly a year in prison awaiting his father's payment, and according to legend, began receiving visions from God. After his release from prison, Francis heard the voice of Christ, who told him to repair the Christian church and to live a life of poverty. Consequently, he abandoned his life of luxury and became a devotee of the faith, his reputation spreading all over the Christian world. Today's gospel is part of the Beatitudes from the Sermon on the Mount. It's appropriate today that we talk about these three tenets of the Beatitudes as it applies to St. Francis of Assisi, whose feast day we celebrate today. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Francis led a life of being merciful to people and animals and the environment. He developed a deep love of nature and animals and is known as the patron saint of the environment and animals. His life and words had, have had a lasting re precedence with millions of followers across the globe. He was able to find the love of God within creation, whether it be plants, animals, or minerals. Today we will celebrate the feast day with the blessing of animals that you brought from home. These companions that bring us so much joy are examples to us of the unconditional love that God has for us. I remember when I had my dog Jake. He would greet me at the front of the door every time I came home from work or from running errands. He showed me what unconditional love was. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. It was revealed to Francis after his incarceration as a prisoner of war that he saw visions and that he heard Christ talk to him. There is a reason that Christ chose him, and as you know, with all history of the church, God picks the most, least, obvious person to do his work. God knew that Francis was a good-hearted man, and he wanted to do the right thing. Sometimes it takes an incredible event in our lives to wake us up to what is real, to what is important, not the things that the world offers us, but what God offers us. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. I'm reminded of a time when Francis had tried to make peace with the Muslims who were fighting a war against Christians, and he got to know the leader of the Muslims on a personal level. At considerable risk, St. Francis engaged Sultan Malik al Kamel, their leader, in peaceful dialogue. The Christian and Muslim armies stood opposite each other at close quarters. The Sultan had decreed that anyone who brought him the head of a Christian should be rewarded with a gold piece. Francis, however, the Knight of Christ, was unafraid and hoped to realize his ambition of dying as a martyr of Christ. The Muslim soldier seized him fiercely and dragged him before the Sultan. When he asked why he was sent and by whom, Francis replied courageously that he was sent by God, not by man, to show him and his subjects the way of salvation and to proclaim the truth of the gospel message. Francis proclaimed the triune God and Jesus Christ, the Savior of all, with steadfastness, courage, and spirit. When the Sultan saw the little friar's enthusiasm and courage, he listened to him willingly and pressed him to stay with him. Then he offered Francis several valuable gifts, but Francis was anxiously only anxious for only the salvation of souls and refused the Sultan's gifts. The Sultan, astonished at Francis' utter disregard for worldly wealth, felt greater respect than ever for the saint. Many people today say that Francis was the man who was most like our Lord. He saw money, how money can make many people bad and proud, so he wanted to be as poor as our Lord, and he used to say, I'm married to leading poverty. The more Francis wandered into the fields of nature, the more he wandered into his love, into the field of his own heart. The outer world invited him to enter his inner world. There he encountered the mystery of God, who was at once most high and yet infinitely near, more intimate than his own self. Francis entered the spirit of God as his all, all good, all love, all present, all merciful. The more he found God with himself, the more he saw God outside himself, for every detail in nature spoke to him of God. Prayer led Francis into the truth of his own reality and into the truth of the world. Nothing was outside the embrace of God's love. It was love that moved Francis into other worlds, the world of the leper, the world of the poor, the world of 
earthworms and wolves into the world of everything. Because only in the world is God born through love. However, one must be able to see and listen to the sounds of divine love crying out in new creation. Francis set his heart on God's passion of love, his mind on knowing his love, and his eyes on seeing his love. Prayer is an invitation for us to grow in love. As we grow into God's love, God's love grows in us. We are reborn in the spirit through the power of love, entering into the chaos and uncertainty of the world. Love does not retreat from suffering and pain, but enters into darkness of life with energy and hope that the future will be different. Love creatively empowers love, life towards life, more life. Life in God is a gamble in love that requires faith commitment, even when darkness persists and suffering prevails. To grow in love through prayer is to throw ourselves into the heart of God. Only when we can weep at what is not yet love can we live into a new reality, where love is waiting to be born. This is the heart of the Franciscan prayer. Lord, thank you for your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek as to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, and it is in parting that we are parted. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Let us say together the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Of not one being with the Father, through him all things are made. For us, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he came from the Virgin of God, with faith in him. For our sake, he is crucified. He suffered death from the very. On the third day, he lived again. The Lord is with your servant. He ascended into heaven. And he seated at the right hand of God. And the Lord is to judge the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge the baptism and forgiveness of sins. With all our heart, and with all our mind, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For our Bishop Daniel, and for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For our President Joseph for the leaders of the nations, and for all in authority, let us praise the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city of Essington, for every city and community, and for those who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the good earth which God has given us, and for the wisdom and will to conserve it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the aged and the infirm, for the widowed and orphans, and for the sick and the suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. mercy. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed and the destitute, for prisoners and captives, and for all who remember and care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For all who have died in the hope of resurrection, and for all the departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For deliverance from all danger, violence, oppression, and degradation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may end our lives in faith and hope, without suffering and without reproach, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
in the communion of St. John the Evangelist and of all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our Lord. To Amen. Lord our God. May I add your own petitions at this time. Please name those for whom you pray this day. Gabriella. Those who suffer from the hurricane, the aftermath, and who seek with broken hearts to rebuild and not lose hope. Lord, have mercy. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Creator God, Forgive our goodness and our gratitude and our spiritual brightness to the name of our creation, to the beauty and our prestige you say, to the same passions of life like I have had forever. We fail to honor one life of Christ, the face of others, and fear those who are different. Forgive us for speaking without giving and for grieving without us. May the love and forgiveness of God embrace you today <laughs> and all these wonderful creatures that make our lives rich and full. Amen. And now, Deacon Joe and I are going to just take a walk around and we'll find all animals. And uh, Suzanne, if you want to just play something light in the background, I don't know how long this is going to take. How much is the doggy in the window? <laughs> Today, I'll give mine away. You're being great. Okay, you may start on that side and pray for our yeah. unicorn out of the and get all the names right. I think you're in the Gigi Proof of Creepy. Max, I don't The blessing of God be with you, sweetie pie, and keep healthy and happy. Oh, don't take her out.
well behaved. Where did they learn that? They're from you. You taught them. Okay, thank you so much. The announcements briefly would be um, half the dinner Saturday. Um, we have the boss pops, uh, passes for sale and stewardship will be starting soon and we'll have tickets for sale for the paint night probably starting to see. yeah um i think that's it for now you guys can read uh, are there any birthdays or anniversaries did anybody have any birthdays? Me! You're done. No, I only have one day. Can you go up for your birthday? How many, how many birthdays do you get? Um, in my house? You really get a year? You get like a week's worth of one birthday. Oh, yeah, you like wow. get a five. So we had a celebration Tuesday, yesterday, and then compared today. So that's three, three solid days. Plus, we're going to Uniform World at the end of the month. Oh, uh, yeah. That is so wonderful. Are any of our pets approaching a birthday? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Next, next month? Wow. No. Harper wins the prize. Not you. Yeah, you're going to get your plan. <laughs> they said it was on my Please feel free to sit and then or stand and we will come around to you for communion. Yes, I think I can my hands. Can Cassidy have a prayer for her birthday? Oh, of course, sweetie. <laughs> Jump over here next to this creep so she'll stop barking. <laughs> Cassidy, we thank God that you were born. We thank God that you get many, many birthdays and that you bring so much love to your family and especially to little Gabby. Amen. Amen. Stop it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday Happy 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 Happy
heavenly court with prophets and apostles and martyrs and with brother Francis and all those in every generation who have looked to you in hope to proclaim with them your glory in their unending hymn. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And so, Father, we who have been redeemed by him and made a new people by water and the Spirit now bring before you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the gave it to his friends and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup of wine, gave thanks and said, Drink this all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering now his work of redemption and offering to you this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, sorry. We celebrate his death and resurrection. Lord God of our fathers and mothers, God of Abraham, Isaac, God of Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, open our eyes to see your hand at work in the world around us. Deliver us from the presumption of coming to this table for solace only and not for strength, for pardon only and not for renewal. Let the grace of this holy communion make us one body, one spirit in Christ, that we may worthily serve the world in his name. Accept these prayers and praises, Father, through Jesus Christ, his great, our great high priest, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, your church gives honor, glory, and worship from generation to generation. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, the Lord of heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts. I think. <laughs> The blood of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The 
body of Christ, the bread of heaven. So the body of Christ, the bread of heaven again. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 The bread. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Let us say together the prayer attributed to Frank St. Francis and said literally around the globe. Lord, give us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us send love. Where there is hatred, Lord, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much be as the soul as to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to For this is the thing that we receive, this is our thing that we are born, and it is the time that we are born to eternal life. Amen. This is the blessing from St. Clair, good friend, spiritual friend of Francis. <coughs> Live without fear. Your creator made you holy and will always protect you. Remember that God loves you with a mother's love. So go forward in peace and follow the good road. May the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy travel with you always. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Together? All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Oh, you want to see the words? Okay. No, we're waiting for the young. Um, oh. May God's blessings. Oh, okay. Blessings around and we say As you trust him and walk in his ways And his presence within Guard and keep you from sin Go in peace, go in joy, go in love Speaking 
of peace. You have given us a double dose of peace, even in the midst of noise. Now think of that the next time you watch the news on television. God gives us peace, even with the worst of noises around us. Aww, 